We are living in a world now where people sometimes try to divide us. You're different, you're different color, you're different language, you're different religion. And that is why it's so important that we all work together to make sure we all stay united when different people try to disunite us. And that is everything that I will represent when you represent, hopefully, uh, select me to represent you. Shoka Adam, I'm the independent candidate for Leicester South. There's been a catalogue of situations which has really taken me to this position. Mainly, we have this dichotomy of the Labour Party and the Tory Party. Where, at this moment in time, myself and many around us feel there's absolutely no difference. And in particular the Labour Party, because we have given them, as a community, our unequivocal support for the last 50 years. Over 70% according to the Labour Muslim Network. And yet, when we need them, they're not there for us. And when we look into their policies, there's actually not that much difference between them and the Tory party. So it's always a race to the bottom. But we've seen what the situation with Diane Abbott. We've seen the, uh, the situation with... Uh, the Labour candidate down uh, in, in London, Faiza Shaheen, uh, etc. And we've seen the, the fact that Jeremy Corbyn was nowhere to be seen within the Labour Party. And it's just been one catalogue after the other. The Keir Starmer leadership style has been really, really questioned. I am here to represent communities who need to start making an establishment of themselves. One man gets by vote is this guy here. I met him and then it's, it's, it's lovely. We've been voting for so many other people and we've got a chance to a brother who could represent us as a community. That's what we need. Gaza has been my biggest teacher and eye-opener to say we don't just vote, vote blindly because I felt sick to my stomach knowing that my vote allowed things to happen that I don't believe in. So, God willing, and we'll be voting for Shoka Adam, independent, who I'm praying that will put humanity before what I believe others are doing is money, power, fame and greed. And I'm also against To see how Labour Party reacted uh, when Muslim requested, and not only Muslim, but actually public at large through marches in London, when we begged the Labour Party to support for a ceasefire. Ceasefire meant was really saving more children's lives in Palestine. The answer was to us, no, we can't do that. It's actually on the humanitarian basis. How can we stand by when we are seeing massacre upon massacre? Yesterday we saw, uh, thankfully, the release of uh, uh, Israeli hostages, but simultaneously over 200 Palestinians being killed and them not being worth being mentioned. That's just one aspect. You know, it's been close to 40,000 people. But I think this is one moment in time where we really can make that change. And as an independent, what that will mean, there'll be people who can set their own narratives, overturn one of the biggest majorities this country, uh, this, in this historic history uh, by an independent, then people and established parties will all come to the community, but we can dictate terms on our conditions and our referen reference points. It's been absolutely phenomenal. You know, the community has really galvanized and energized and they've feel so empowered. Uh, my team includes hundreds of people, we have people canvassing till late in the evening uh, and they're all volunteers uh, and everybody from our elderly community to our young community uh, and wherever you'll go and see they feel part of this campaign. So it's a, a real community-based campaign.